Whoa, what day is it? I got something special in store for you guys. Hope you guys like this. Check this out. Happy hump day. In the desert sun, where the sand never ends, there's a camel named Mike with some true life friends. He loves hump day. It's his favorite delight. But he's not stopping there. He's got dreams overnight. Mike loves his waffles. This syrup on top He munches them down He just can't stop Building PCs With tubes He's a tech enthusiast Thermal take in his hands He's the one to trust Hump day with Mike A camel with pride He bends the tube Not the knee He rides the high tide Waffles in the morning, a breakfast so sweet, building PCs with tubes, it's a passion he'll keep. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? Let's go, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Let's get our waffle going. It's waffle time. Let's go. Mike's favorite day. He's feeling so fine. Spin the wheel now. Get the deal. Hey, your prize awaits. It's your lucky day. Waffles on Wednesday. It's going to be a blast. Giving away prizes, you'll be having a blast.
morning. Happy Wednesday, everyone. How is everybody doing today? What is good, everyone? What is good? Oh, man, I've been having a blast here. I've been messing around with some uh, AI song stuff, and uh, I, I just felt like I had to make something special just for you guys. You know, something to... In the desert kinda... sun... Get that, get that vibe going, you know? Break up that week. Happy hump day, everybody. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. It's great to see all you guys. What's good? How's everybody doing? Get your waffle in. Exclamation mark waffle for your chance. I got some special prizes going on as well. Um, I got some chippies left over, so a lot of you uh, guys getting in here early on the stream you're in for a little treat i got some extra stuff going on so get in on that waffle sit back relax enjoy your hump day with me we got a lot going on today with the e600 cheers to you guys mm. Mm. not the knee that's right oh what's good how's everybody happy hard day to you too hump thanks so much heart heart mk2 thank you so much appreciate it appreciate it i'm a wizard what's up blue how are you good to see you these lyrics are great aren't they <laughs> i love it i love it all right that's enough of that we'll just i'll switch this back i'll switch this back i was having some fun though i thought it was some good stuff i thought it was some good stuff now I'm hoping everything else is working. We'll see how everything else goes. All right. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Let's go on, let's, let's jump over. We got a lot to do today. We got a lot to do today. Oh yeah. Oh. Don't see YouTube giving out entries. Let me check, let me check. How dare they? It's not working? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. It should be. Nothing has changed. Hmm. Let me do something really fast. Let me see if I can see what's going on. Ah, okay. Cloudbot was turned off. I didn't do it. Somebody want to test YouTube for me? Try it now. Try it now. Is not working. I might have to stop it and start it again. One sec. Let me see. Huh? Are you it? Working now? Working now. <laughs> there we go. No, thanks for letting me know, you guys. That's the best. You guys are the best. Yeah, if you uh, did an early YouTube waffle, go in and uh, double dip, as we would say. Get that little extra waffle in there. Make sure you get that uh, confirmation. Sorry for all the spam, but at least that way you know you got in. You know what I'm saying? I think it's important. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, looks like everything's good. Sweet. Mm. Mm. Fury, thank you so much for the seven stream streak, man. They thank you so much for being here, man. Appreciate you guys. We got a lot going on. So you've been watching uh, what we've been doing here with the E six hundred MX. I got it. Uh, I, I got it ready to fill today. We got we got cooling on tap, and uh, we're gonna be mixologists later on today. We're gonna be uh, stirring up some fun for our system, getting our coolant going and everything. Oh, it's a good back scratch, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it feels good. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's, you know what? We're just going to jump into this. We're just going to jump into this. I got a lot to, we got a lot to do today. Oh, oh. Let me move a couple of things. I was so excited about all the... I was so excited about all the fun AI songs and everything that I was playing around with over the week. I couldn't wait to play them for you guys. I couldn't wait to play them for you guys. Exclamation mark a waffle for your chance to win today. Of course, we do have our weekly waffle going on. 
if you guys want to dive into that let me turn my audio down just a little bit there we go there we go there we go it's hump day that's all right uh daniel absolutely absolutely we have our e600 right here all ready to go today's the day i've been looking forward to it i i gotta say i've been looking forward to it we got uh some uh we're gonna be thirsty today we're pc's pretty thirsty after uh going through it but hope you guys have enjoyed uh the the fun little road that we've gone down uh replacing our stream system with something nice and new we got our e600 hydrangea blue and uh yeah i'm really really excited to see what this is gonna look like get it all lit up get the coolant filled and everything so i can at least start working on the os and getting all the streaming software installed so that's gonna be a lot of fun how's the weather uh it, today it's amazing i we had cold and rain for oh i would probably say the last almost two months only on the weekends but then during the week it was like 70s and 80s today it's i think it's pretty it's pretty warm today let's see i was gonna say i think it's like mid 70s today right now um but the weather's just been going like just up and down up and down a 78 78s are high today Speaking of which, let me start turning my fan on here. We got all the lights and everything like that. I, I'm definitely not used to it warming up already, but, uh, you know, um, it does get pretty hot in here after a couple hours of streaming, I'll tell you that. But uh, lights and all that kind of stuff. I got the air on at least, so that'd be good. Beautiful here in Central Valley. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good day here in California, Southern California, where we are. Um, but, you know, what's an even better day because today's Wednesday. Uh, we got we got a lot of fun in store. Um, oh, 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 and I got some extra prizes today, too. Where'd they go? I got a couple leftover chippies if you guys want to win a chippy and a fun little thermal take swag pack. I'm going to be uh, mixing up two wow. of these randomly later on in the stream so if you're just hanging out and everything and you've already entered in on the waffle then you are good to go we'll be doing this at random later just for fun you know much love to intel for supporting us on the build as well as all the stuff intel dude the intel's pretty cool man they they we like all of doing stuff for intel you know we had oh. alex in on the show talking about 14th gen cpu so saved a couple extra ones there to kind of break it up so we can have some fun of course we have our e600 mx system here on the table um let, let's go ahead and let's start let's start opening this up Ooh, i still haven't taken the plastic off the glass yet we're gonna save that for last We don't want to. We don't want to jinx anything. You know what I'm saying? It's even. It's got. It's got plastic on both sides. I didn't know if you knew that. So if your panel might look a little fuzzy, and it's brand new and everything like that, make sure that there's not a film on both sides. Maybe one that you may have missed. You know what I'm saying? You're cleaning that glass on the outside a little extra. You don't need to. <laughs> but I do love how this thing opens up here. Uh, the E600. Pretty nice case for uh, the space. And I, I think I had a lot of fun with this, going through trying to figure out how to do a dual 360 rad configuration with uh, custom liquid cooling, with our, this is a RTX 3080 for the graphics card. And then we have that uh, Z790 ASRock live mixer board with all that USB performance. I'm I'm pretty excited for all the extra USBs, but let alone just that, we also have all the performance, of course, with the Z790 chipset and Intel's 14900KS in here for the CPU. Oh, I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is going to be a lot of fun. Keep it on, less fingerprints on the glass. You know what? You definitely got a point there. And I, you know, I know some people that used to have the, you know, the little plastic on like the little radio in the car. And they, they're just, they would never peel it off. Never. Because you never want to expose it. You know, it always felt new every time. So your mod, your way, you can do your case how you would like. So have fun with it. <laughs> oh, so what's up? How's everybody? I took my friend to see the world's biggest fan for his birthday. He was blown away. <laughs> That's great. Just freaking great. 
<sighs> All right, so today we're gonna be talking a lot about prep work. We're gonna be focusing on what you should do or should double check before filling a custom loop. And I'm gonna try to do my best to go through as much as I can to try to help you for your next custom cold build too, if uh, that is something you would like to partake in. It's part of what we do here on the show, showing you guys all the bends all the way through. Finally, we are here. Today is the day. And I'm more or less just worried that I'm not gonna mix the right purple color. <laughs> but we'll see how everything goes. It's Wednesday, it's a wonderful day. Sit back, relax, ah, stretch out. Mm. We're halfway through the week, we're halfway through April. It's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. Seen better days? Oh, well, sorry about that, Em. You know, hanging out, you know, hopefully uh, maybe you'll win a waffle or two and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hope the days are better and or we can uh, cheer you up with some fun today and everything. I'm hoping that we don't have any leaks and that's gonna be the big part about what we're gonna be talking about, um, you know, going through all the process. So last time on Dragon Ball Z, we talked about doing the tube work, getting all the tubes all prepped and everything. We sanded them real nice, cleaned all of the tubes out. And uh, as I mentioned, cleaning the tubes out like under a sink to get the majority of like the little pieces in the glass or tubing, sorry, the plastic, it's PETG but uh, getting all the little particles out from the cuttings and just making sure you have a nice clean tube, um, you know, rinsing it out under the kitchen sinks, pretty fine for the initial part. But as uh, we did show, we like to uh, take some like distilled water and then do a nice little final rinse on it before we put it into the system. Um, just a little extra and everything as far as what I wanna do. I mean, you can just use straight distilled water and do it that way, just the same. And then a lot of people will go forward with uh, doing some type of leak testing or leak preparations to make sure that if there is a problem, uh, you know, how covered are you going to be? Now, one of the big things that I like to do is I only wanna have power going to just the pump. So what I'll do is we're gonna take the back panel off of the case, of course, and we're gonna just be putting power to the pump. And a lot of that is just thanks to uh, me having a secondary power supply and I'll be plugging in just the pump power for the system. So all we're gonna be doing is cycling the coolant throughout the system oh, and you know, hey, monitoring you. it hey, you know, for leaks and stuff, you know? Me too. All right. Srigo 36, pump power woo. Pump power, s Ray coming in. Appreciate the tier one for 25 months. Oh my God, dude. Thank you so much. Glad to have you. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. oh thanks, man. Appreciate it. I haven't even started my waffle yet. What am I doing? Mm. Glad I have a waffle. It's Wednesday, right? Mmm. Mike, 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 what's up, Dorian? Good to see you. Watching while working, nice, Jay. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Mm. Oh man, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> Intel was so nice to give me this cool little screwdriver kit. It was pretty cool, right? Little Intel Arc. The only way to build your 14th gen is with an Intel Arc screwdriver kit. They tell me it's certified. Works real good. But I'm gonna need, where, where, let's see where we got. A little flathead. Is there only one set of windows in here? This will probably work. Yeah. Cool. Now help me adjust my pump levels as we go forward with filling it up. Screw with confidence. That is right, Ghost. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Oh. Okay. So one of the main things that we'll be doing is 
usually somebody will you know you can unplug the 24 pin and uh, have the 24 pin then jumpered if you don't have a secondary power supply and this is what a lot of people will do meaning that the motherboard itself is not going to be passing the 12 volt through the motherboard and or with the gp you can do the same thing there by disconnecting the pcie or gen 5 power cable meaning that the card and or motherboard you know your system is not going to be powered on meaning that you know no electricity is more or less going through everything. Well, this song got weird. Let's change this one. But if you don't have a secondary power supply, I mean, there's a good way to get like, you know, jumper. People do like the paperclip trick, you know, a lot of that stuff. It's nice that we uh, have like jumpers. We include them with a lot of our kits now. Um, but today we're gonna be taking the second power supply uh, approach. Me, I got a secondary power supply down here. I can plug the Molex in, meaning that we're only gonna be powering the pump on our distro just to help move the coolant through. And this helps as a nice practice, you know, keep it nice and safe. So if there is a leak, everything is off. That's kind of like the best way to go about it and the safest way to go about it. Now, there, there are definitely times where I've done both where I just said whatever and just turned it on and we went for it and that's worked too. Um, but uh, I felt like it would be a good series with this as we've gone through pretty much the entire build with you guys here on the live stream, um, you know, to kind of make sure that we practice what we preach, right? And make sure that you're safe. So if you guys ever want to dive into some custom tubing, you know, I would say cuts are more important than bends making sure that you have the right distances for your tubes to avoid leaks and, and let your fittings do the work for you. Um, before we get go forward with uh, mixing up some colors, as we're gonna have some, uh, uh, we're gonna have to mix up this purple that we're gonna wanna put in the system or whatever color you would prefer, I'm gonna go with like a nice twitch purple, kind of try to offset with uh, the live mixer. I think a purple and hydrangea blue is gonna be a pretty cool uh, combo here for this case. And then we're gonna have some fun with the RGB, aren't we, to see what we could do between uh, the GPU block, the distro, all the fans lighting up. And then we got that MX2 thermal take. That's our only DIY LCS uh, CPU block with a LCD screen on it. So that'll be fun. I'll get to change the picture and all that kind of stuff. Something new I've never done before but as far as with that you know making sure everything's off we'll be putting some paper towels in there um but try not to rush ahead too much probably one of the biggest things that i would say when going about uh doing getting prepared for filling besides just uh figuring out what color you're gonna do is double check all your fittings make sure that all of your fittings are secure i always like to kind of go through and just you know make sure i didn't miss something Make sure that I got everything nice and tight. Most of it should be hand tight. Don't over crank your fittings. Don't use a tool, especially. The O-ring inside is supposed to smush, but it's not supposed to smash. And to be honest, if you go, if you over tight an O-ring, you're more or less gonna create a leak versus prevent a leak. So finger tight, everybody. Don't panic. Always bring a towel. And hopefully you're watching someone like me to show you. And we, we, we show a good result, right? Make sure those are nice and good there on the top. Got a lot of fittings that are involved here too. So two rads. So we got two ports here, two ports on the bottom rad. We have the GPU with the two ports, but, and I made sure, always make sure that you got those back ports plugged i've seen a lot of unfortunate situations happen online where people forgot to put one of those stop plugs in and everything just flew out the back and that would just be catastrophic because it would just go straight into the back of that motherboard down bottom. i mean we'd end stream no we probably have a lot of fun laughing about it and cleaning it up you know what i mean <laughs> A big glue like that, I suggest using a second power supply as well. Yeah, and um, I mean, I have the convenience of that. I, I, I do a lot of testing so you can understand. Um, a nice little simple SFX power supply works real good for me. Gives me that Molex and all the other connections that I would need to do testing like this. And we even got new ones that are uh, coming out with uh, the Gen 5 on it. So, um, you know, if it's something you want to replace your little tester power supply and everything it's always something that i would uh suggest if it's something like you know you're looking to do a lot of builds or you like to build your own you know what i'm saying I like to build your own hump day baby thanks flam 
Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Ugh. Get those entries in, baby. Waffles are gone. Waffles, tasty waffles mm. with lots of syrup. So good. Let's see. Mm. I did a little bit of cable management, but not a lot. Most of this stuff's just kind of sitting there for the time being. We have our uh, capture card. This is a, a four part or four HDMI. This Hi, Dad. Use. Hey, what's up? This is what we use uh, for capturing, you know, all the different cameras and everything. And uh, I'm going to be utilizing that riser cable. We're going to be doing. <coughs> We're going to be doing something. You're going to have to wait and see. But I'm going to be doing a custom mount. I'm going to use the SSD bracket on the back to make it my mod my way for a chance. And uh, give us a nice little alternative option for an add-in card, as well as being able to do the verticalness with the tubing. Because as though we saw, the tube was going to be in the way and everything like that. So never fear. I got this in my back pocket. We're going to be figuring this out. But I wanted to get the loop all uh, looped up, if you can understand first. Make sure the system's rocking and rolling. I'm really hoping we're going to get a nice, uh, you know, post into BIOS with the coolant flowing today. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be our end goal today, man. Never fear. Thermal Mike is here. Thanks, Bean Town. I appreciate it. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, man. Thanks so much, dog. <laughs> get those wobbles on. I got some fun stuff in store. So that's kind of the plan right now. I'm trying to think, I, I'm honestly just kind of just double checking everything. I mean, I even thought about this before the stream, but there's just so many different potential issues, you know, where it can leak as far as fitting to fitting, even with the blocks and everything like that too. Um, you know, the 90 degree fittings, making sure these were on tight initially. If you have any concerns, just take it apart and put it, you just reseat the stuff, unscrew it, screw it back on. But again, don't go overboard with that stuff you don't want to over tighten an o-ring it's going to cause you more problems than it's going to help you oh, oh, oh. But yeah we gotta uh we gotta mix up some coolant and we're gonna have some fun with this i don't know how long this is gonna take but we'll have to see Ugh. we will have to see I got my uh, blue shop towels here. Sorry, camera. Didn't mean to do that. Two-tone coolant? I wish. You know, it'd be really cool if you could have two colors and it doesn't, like, uh, mix up and everything. That'd be wild. A little oil-based action in there. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so... A couple of different things uh, that... I like to do is uh you know trying to find the right color and you're going to be mixing it up you know a variety of different things you know sometimes you got like a nice little funnel like this will help with like the squeeze bottles you know get a little filler bottle like this this is going to be what we're going to be applying it into the system so stuff like this we sell um you get a variety of these uh different styles and everything like that the only thing you want to make sure is you, you don't need a super small straw or you're just going to be sitting there squeezing forever so uh and if you buy this one um, and it has like the little tip on the end, just pull it off. I, I, I was never a fan of that little tip and everything like that, but just a tip. Um, and that will make your experience so much better. So much better. I had to do the dishes earlier. If I can you know, do this. Use my little assisted tube arm here. Make sure we get nice and dry. You know, we, we don't have a dishwasher here at Thermal Take, sadly, but, you know, I, I did hand wash it. It's been a while. I'm going to make sure we get get our, our purple drink mixed up real nice today. You know what I'm saying? 
And I, so I was playing around with colors and I'm trying to get like purple, like the, the Twitch purple. It's such a rich color. Um, I wasn't really getting it as well with red and blue. So what I ended up doing, and I did a little bit of a test was um, I was experimenting with both blue and purple because we have a uh, concentrate dyes um, and blue and purple seem to work really well. Uh, the purple first and then adding a little bit of blue. So um, I'm going to try that out today and uh, see if we can kind of come up with a good enough color. Um, we'll do some test, little test dyes here and uh, you guys will be the judge. I'll... Uh, see which color you guys like if it's a little bit lighter or darker and then uh you know maybe we'll throw it to a vote and uh check and decide on what purple's going to be the king for our dream pc build now something something uh something a little uh top secret i have here I got this little special concoction here uh, straight from uh, Thermal Takes uh, Top Secret Area Area 25. Um, we have uh, some uh, new concentrate uh, that we're going to be experimenting with, and we're going to be running it in the system to see how it does on the day-to-day, -day, as well as stream-to-stream, -stream, and uh, you guys will be able to see what's going on with it. It's, uh, it's a secret. <laughs> It's a secret. But either way, we you know we gotta we gotta do a little bit of mixing here. We gotta do a little bit of mixing. So now this is a concentrate versus just like a straight coolant. So meaning that I'm gonna be mixing this with like a pure clear, or I guess you would say, you know, other other types of clear coolants depending on what you wanted to do. And I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of this. We actually have a couple of different things going on here with this type of coolant, so I think you guys are going to like it. It's not milk. No, it, I, I promise you this is, this, is, this is not milk. It looks really cool, though. Here, let me uh, bring you guys in. Bring you guys in here so you can... We'll give you guys a nice view here of that coolant. See, it's like... There you go, a little bit, you can kind of see. So this is just a straight concentrate. You would then mix this with like a clear to more or less dilute it. What I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna make two uh, testers first. Let's see how good my first pour is. Don't judge me, chat. About right there. Anybody got any Oreos? Anybody got any Oreos? Somebody get him some water, please. Cyber, thanks, man. Appreciate you. You may need a glass of water. And no, I'm not getting the tablespoons out or anything. We're just going to be playing around with a little bit of color today. I need to put that somewhere so I do not kick it over. Um, so here's just straight concentrate. Actually, I just realized, let's pour a little bit of that. Let's go a little bit lower on that. Yeah, that's better. Vinyl glue, it is, it's, it is, it is. Drop the Mentos, right. This is science, this is for science. This is why I saved this for you guys. I mean, I could have pre-mixed the purple and we could have just poured it in, but I thought this would be way more fun. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add some clear. This is a pretty heavy concentrate, um, but again, I'm just looking for the color. Don't judge me. Go there. And then as you can see, with uh, both of the mixtures, it still is retaining its white. It's not like going transparent or like clearing out, I guess you would say. So one of the beauties about this stuff is a lot of it is more 
you don't want to go full concentrate of course but i would suggest that if you're looking for like an effect either a solid effect or even maybe like a 3d effect to have some like movement in the coolant like you guys have seen the coolant that we've experimented with before in the past that has a cool 3d effect to it and stuff those ones uh you know this is something that's similar but different but different and it's chemistry time yes it's yes <clears throat> want to buy mod override of hydrate emote <laughs> we'll talk Grisumi. we'll talk <laughs> Happy Wednesday. It's probably some of my favorite times building PC. So we got our two stuff. Let's add a little purple to get it started. Remember, we're going for like a Twitch look here. So this is going to look kind of pink at first because of the white. So don't stress too much. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, that looks crazy. I figured this way I'd get a good little mix of it, you know what I'm saying? All the way to the bottom there. Oh, what was going on with the, the chat not working over there? Is it good? It looks looking good for me. I'm looking at it over on the YouTubes. Looking at it over there. Well, I'm gonna. I'll wait. I'll wait on that for right now. Okay. Let's go. Three. We'll do one. I'd like to sh show you guys this stuff. Let me let me make a quick adjustment here. I think it's really neat to see the colors as they're uh, being mixed up. Let me guys can see. Look at how the blue just sits on top of the purple like that. You guys can start seeing the color mixing in. It's such a fun time. Okay, just kind of look it's blue it's blue no it's not but that's wild right wouldn't it be cool if we could have stuff like that where it was just look how crisp that is it's so neat a little shake shake I'm like watching the camera while I'm shaking this but I'm getting worried so this one has a one drop of blue this has three so we'll go into the lighter color first. We'll mix the lighter color up first here. Let's see what we can come up with. And you guys can tell me we can add a little bit more. You guys think we need to add a little bit more. And then we're going to try to recreate this color then in our loop. I think it needs a little bit more mix. That blue really is rich. You guys can see. And yeah, there's like a 3D effect in there. It's just really hard to see because it's in a small tube. So this isn't just like a solid. This is uh, 
this is more well it's it, it, it's like you know it's it's like a solid coolant but with like a 3d effect to it okay and then see here's our other one that's got three drops of blue in it let's see what this one turns into bubblegum pink i know right We just got those cases in. I'm actually waiting for the Tower 300 to come in. I was gonna show that on stream once I get one. I think you guys will be able to see even here on stream the difference between the colors. Just wanna make sure I get it mixed really good here. You guys like my little uh, little tube? We could, we could blow on this and we could make bubbles. <laughs> Oh, because it's more fun to use this tube to stir it. Pepto Bismol, we tried that, right? Pepto Bismol memories. Pepto Bismol forever. <laughs> that was a very, you know, that the, the one thing I got to say is at least it smelled good. It smelled like bubblegum. All right. So here we go. See the difference? Can you guys see a little bit of the difference? Single drop of blue versus three drops of blue in here. Do you think this one, this one to me is looking more Twitch, Twitch color than this one is. Let's see what it looks like up against the system. See what you guys think when it's like a little bit further away here. It's really gonna pop though. I'm real like, that's gonna be, that's gonna. I'm excited. I am excited. Needs more blue. I kind of agree. I think it needs a, a hint more, but I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Somebody get him some water, please. <laughs> yeah, I think you can tell pretty obvious, right? Which one's got that little bit more? Where's our... Uh... Where's, our, where's our Twitch logo here? Come on, just give me a. Hmm. Can I put that on the screen here? Let me see if it'll let me. Ah, can't do it from here. Okay. What do I have that, I mean, the funny thing that I really liked was like, this is, this is kind of, you know, the screwdriver. Screwdriver is pretty good color, right? I'm trying to think of what I actually have that has like the Twitch blue or that purple on it. Here, let me look really quick. All right, I was gonna, I, I didn't have this. I forgot to grab this. I was gonna grab this earlier, but I totally spaced on it. I got this, uh, got this little Twitch hat here. You guys are gonna be able to see that. Look at this, look at this, check this out. I got this little Twitch hat from TwitchCon uh, San Diego last year. I thought it was really cool. It's got that purple to it though, right? bring it right up here 
I think it needs to go a little darker, maybe a little bit more. Like, let's do one more drop of blue in here and see what it does. Do one more drop. It's getting there. It's getting there. Like I was saying, like, this is pretty close to an arc purple, I would say. Very close to an arc purple. I think the Twitch purple is a little bit more blue. So let's do one more drop of blue and see what happens. So this will be four. That'll be four drops of blue. Get your waffle on, exclamation mark waffle for your chance. Looks like it's going to clog my CPU block. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Good. We're going to be running it in the stream system that's going to be uh, rocking and rolling every week. So if we have a problem, we're all going to find out together. Oh, yeah, that made, that went a little bit darker. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, this is so much fun. I don't get to do this every day on the stream. Playing chemistry lord. Getting better. Oh, man. Little drip drip. Take care of that. I'll put the little... My cool little Twitch hat. I really like my I like my little Twitch hat. As you can see. A little bit more, huh? You guys think we should go more blue? Really diving in on this one so you guys can see. Here's that. Here's like that Twitch purple. I think that's pretty close. I don't know if I want it this dark to be fair either. I think that's where I'm kind of contemplating on going even darker. See what I'm saying? Maybe one more drop, couple more drops. Well, we can't take away. So one drop at a time. How about that? I guess it's probably better to do it here. Let's do it right there. Let's go one more. So this will be five. And I need to change the music because I am over this. Let's see here. Let's go. There, let's change it up a little bit. Let's change up our mood here a little bit. There we got one more blue in there. So this is five blues. Let's see. Normally I would just mix this and go, but I'm having fun with you guys. So I hope you guys are appreciate this. Oh, that color's looking good. What do you guys think now? Good? Oh, that's good. That's looking good. Five for the win. What do you guys think? Two pastel. <laughs> Bang it and ship it. It's done. You guys like this? Is, it, is this Twitch enough for you? Does this look like your border of your browser that you're looking at right now? Wait till you see the 3D effect in here. Oh, man. It's kind of hard. Like it? Nice. Six to be sick? Mmm. Maybe one more drop? Needs a Whoa. few drops of moderator tears. <laughs> Box, box, you want to add some? Drip, drip. <laughs> Resume. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, you can always add a little bit more concentrate to this. And, you know, we can use that to lighten it up. We can always lighten it up a little bit, too. We can put a little bit more 
We have options, wow. right? We have options. We could add a little bit more of that back in there, lighten the color a little bit. But we don't want to, we don't want to, I guess, make it too rich, I guess you would say. So I think that's a good little place to start thing I like about that is it's going to kind of just chill right here and we can more or less go forward with mixing the actual coolant. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now I'm assuming this is probably going to be about two bottles, maybe a bottle and a half. Um, I had some little like three quarter bottles left here so i'm just re i'm just getting rid of them you know before i crack open a new one and yeah this is why it's so pastel because this is uh well this is a white concentrate with a 3d effect to it it's just probably going to be really hard to see it on camera. I'll try to do my best to show. You'll see it more flowing in the blocks, 100%. Because that will have all the RGB backlighting and everything. So I think that's going to pop pretty good. I think that's going to pop pretty good. All right. That's a response to all of us. John, John, cheers to you, man. Thank you so much for the hydrate, John. My new co-anchor may need a glass of water. I don't, don't tempt me. I have some coolant in here already. I drink coolant every week. I'm sponsored by Thermaltake. Sponsored by Thermaltake. So I just drink coolant every Wednesday. Waffles and coolant. Coolant and waffles. Mm. Mm. So good. <laughs> I can make this stuff at home for free. <laughs> All right, so we got a plan. A little test like that, kind of play around with the color. Especially if you've never done this before. And you're just like, where would you go with it, right? Especially if you're doing it with a white base or if you're going transparent with it, right? Because you can definitely get two different effects if you're going to be going with something that's like a transparent and you're just adding color to something that's clear. You can absolutely do that and put that in there too. You're going to get some nice, long-lasting cooling out of that and you more or less don't have to change it like once maybe every 12 months. And you could probably go even further with it, to be fair. When you're doing like a pure clear or a transparent type of coolant, throw some dyes in there. Dyes aren't going to mess with anything. You shouldn't have too much problem with that. And all I can speak for is, of course, with the thermal take stuff. I don't use anybody else's, of course. But I've had good results. I've had pretty good results. I think the only color that really kind of gets a good stain on is red. But that's more or less, I would say, common knowledge in the cooling market for a lot of people. But we got a nice, uh, got a nice base white right here. Woo! Definitely going to be interesting to start mixing in some colors with this. I figured what I'll do is we'll bring the camera real close so you guys can dive in with me as we mix it up. And uh, hey, let's see how everything turns out, all right? Come on, baby, lower. Yeah. Just kidding. Get it purple first. Or pink. It's a lot more liquid than you thought before. And see, I think you guys can start to see the 3D effect a lot better there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can see that better than this. All right. Yeah. 
Here's a fun fact. Mike told Thermaltake he was going out for a few minutes to pick up some orange juice to use in the Will It Cool event. Two days later, they said, what's taking you so long? Mike said, when I got to the fridge, it said concentrate. <laughs> Thanks pig, appreciate it man. <laughs> You know, sometimes it's important to read the label. But see, we're not we're not there just yet. You know what I mean? Not there just yet. Of course, we only put five drops in, and we're dealing with a, a different volume, of course. But as always, wow. slow but sure. Let's go three more. Well, that was like a two and a half. It got on my tube. Oh, baby. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. I'm excited. Waffles, tasty waffles. With I'm excited. A little bit more. We're getting there, though, chat. We're getting there. Let's do two more. 60% of the time, oh. it works every time. You're not wrong. Truth. Look, I like how, I like how you get the little half and half. Look, you get the little. It's so cool. A little bit more. We're on, we're getting there. Anybody keeping track? Anybody keeping track of how many dots, how many blues? Is that 10 now? It's getting in. It's getting it's, it's getting there that's pretty close looks like a storm on jupiter yeah that's good that's what i like to hear buddy that's the cool stuff right that's the cool stuff right there but see it's always fun you want to do a little tester and then you want to match it for the larger volume it's a nice little eyeball for you. You take a little bit of extra material, but it's not too bad. Now we can kind of play around because if you didn't like that, you can just dump that and do it over again and you're not wasting something like this. You know what I'm saying? Smarter, Chad, be smarter. Still needs a couple of more, Berg Beezer says. Thanos color, right? Poor tester. <laughs> Pretty close, Kenneth says. Hmm. That is pretty close. I love seeing the movement in this. Let's do one more. One more blue. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, wait. That was... Uh, okay. Okay. They've been mixing this left-handed. It's been weird. You know what would make a great coolant? The blood <laughs> grease of the automatons. That's right, Alpha. Operation 710, baby. Spill oil. A little blue on the side here. Come on. Get down in there. There we go. Ooh, here we go. I think we're I think we're there. Let's give it a good churn. Give it a good churn. Round and round it goes. Kind of wait for it to settle a little bit, but yeah, I think that's right on the money right there. What do you guys think? Is this gonna what do you guys think this with the blue? Hmm. 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 So now you guys can see like a bigger. It's 
purple chocolate milk isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love it. 10 for 10 with drink. Cheers. <laughs> It's going to be a fun color. It's going to be a fun color. I'm wondering how much like lighter it's going to get. How much more lighter it's going to get. Cast it seven. Thank you. Appreciate the hydrate. Swirling Archer. Smells like coolant. But I don't think it turned out too bad, right? Pretty good. Shine a light on uh, the test tube. I guess I don't really have like It'd be hard for you to see because it's not like clear, you know? In the system, you'll be able to know because you're going to have the GPU block, the distro, all that stuff's all got the lights through the block. So it's really going to pop, I think, in there. I think it's really going to pop in there. All right. Let's start prepping our bottles. Let's try not to get purple all over the table chat. <sighs> Did you pressure check the loop? No. No. I just made sure everything was tight. I usually don't do uh, pressure testing with distros because a distro is going to be watertight, but it's not going to be airtight. So a lot of times, from my experience and from people that I've talked to, when you do like a pressure test and you apply air pressure, even Whoa. a small, hey, that's you. small hey, amount you of PSI, suit. right? No way, me too. All right. Hey, HD. Hey, thanks HD for the prime. Appreciate you. I, I think that, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, pressure testing. So with a distro, distros are going to be watertight but not airtight so if you have a distro or a device you know a product that has a large o-ring like that you want a really low psi very very low you don't want to apply a ton of pressure to it and the other thing with that is that if you start to see like a slow leak your concerns are going to be like thinking fittings and stuff and a lot of times it's just because distros especially around the pump area where like the d5 or ddc pumps are going to go that's where I usually will see like that slow leak is coming from. No matter how much you tighten that down, it's not gonna be, it'll be watertight, but it won't be airtight. It's still a good uh, option if you got it. Um, if it's something that you'd wanna use, I mean, go for it, but keep the PSI low. Don't think to go super high on the PSI like it matters. If that is any help for anybody out there. And I mean, that's just my personal experience from feedback of building multiple systems. Usually we have a pretty good track record here on stream. I try to show you guys the results. Oh, this is looking very Twitch. Much Twitch right here. Well, that's going to be cool. It's going to be a nice color. All right. The time has come to fill but where are we at on our waffle where are we at okay so we got still got like 40 minutes on the waffle cool i was going i was going a little quick oh oh dude i got another song for you guys i got another song for you guys look check this out so oh here you know what i'll switch over here i'll switch over here look check this out so i'm doing a variety of songs right let me go ahead and set this up. Check this out. I've been working on some other ones. 
Been making a variety of songs here through uh, Suno AI. But I want to tell you guys that congratulations on hitting 100 viewers. Thank you guys so much. That means we got two waffle winners coming up here later on during the stream. And I wanted to celebrate a little bit to kind of throw some of your guys' way to say thanks for all the love. Uh, and uh, with that, we got to do this. We got a chippy and a thermal tank swag pack. We're going to pick one lucky winner right now. Celebrate our 100th viewers. Bumping it up. Here, look, check this one out. Here's another one. 100 viewers. Count them one by one. Our stream growing. We're reaching for the sun. The shot is buzzing. Comments flying high. To Sami Blue. Congrats, man. To Sami Blue. Congrats on the chippy. Let's go, baby. This is not Danger Zone. <laughs> Hey, congratulations, Tatsumi Blue, on uh, winning our uh, little fun mystery TT Chippy slash swag pack. Congratulations. We got more coming up. We also got double down waffles later on during the stream. So much love to you guys out there. Go ahead, resuming the waffles. So if you're already in, you don't got to re enter. But if you haven't gotten in, you need to because I got more of this kind of stuff coming up here later on in the stream as well as our weekly waffle stay tuned baby oh yeah oh yeah oh here this throw the beat on it's waffle time mike's favorite day he's feeling so fine i'll spin the wheel now get the deal Argent. Hey, your prize away. Oh, yeah. like it's your lucky more. day. <laughs> Waffles on Wednesday. It's gonna be a blast. Away Thank you. Prizes, you'll be having a Was Blue in the stream? Did Blue see this? I don't know if Blue saw this or not. Congrats, though, Blue. Is that lunch? No, it's it's uh after lunch. It's my mid-afternoon snack. It's my breakfast. Throw the beat on. It's waffle time. Mike's favorite day. He's feeling so fine. Spin the wheel now. Get the deal. Hey, your prize awaits. It's your lucky day. Waffles on Wednesday. It's gonna be a blast. Giving away prizes. You'll be having a blast. Look, we're making art today, chat. <laughs> I like the shop towel color, you know what I'm saying? It's I made different genres of the waffle songs. Waffle rap? Oh my god, I need to do a waffle rap one. It's like, yeah, I know, Robert. <laughs> 
Okay, this one's like a grunge 90s genre. Come on down. Everyone's there. and crunchy. Syrup so sweet. love Can't be the wheel. Get the deal. In the land This is my other grunge one that I got. I was going to ask for a gangster waffle shuffle. You know what? Do I have... <laughs> Here, I got... I got... Um... Was this one? I like this one, though, too. This one's good. Hey, you want to see the... Hey, look. Look, you can... Well, you can do the words right here. You guys got to try this. I wrote a song about me and my boys playing games. Hey, look, check this one out. What was it? This Desert Dreams one. I like this one. In the desert sun, where the camels run. Hold on. All right. Was this another one I did? In this desert town, there's a camel named Mike. He's a river beast never tamed. Let's do a rap one. Day is his he to with a wild boy. Uh, He's the king, don't you underestimate. Life's for waffles and syrup. Trap house? Dub stepping waffles? Oh my god, there's so many ideas! A 90s rap song about a guy named Mike who is a camel. He loves waffles and giveaways. Let's see what else. What else should we have? When he hits a hundred viewers, <clears throat> he gives it away. 90s rap song. Let's see what it does. Bending tubes, not knees. He's so funny. He's so funny. All right. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this makes us. You guys are gonna hear it first. You guys are gonna hear it first. Hump raffle waffle rap. <laughs> Ooh, the waffle game. Funky beats 90s rap. Oh, so it's gonna be funky now. Hmm. So you gotta kind of play around with it to get the right one. But look how fast this generates, chat. Look how fast this generates. Here, let's copy the link. Paste it here. That way you guys can see the lyrics. That way you guys can see the lyrics. Let's go. Yo, check it. Listen up, I got a story to tell. About a guy named Mike who's quite peculiar as well. He's smooth like butter, got a hump on his back. A camel named Mike. He's the king of the track. Now Mike loves waffles. He's got a crazy obsession. Stack him up high with syrup as the confession. He flips him in the air like a chef from the east. Mike's got him waffles. He's an absolute beast. But let me tell you more about Mike's giving spree. When he hits a hundred viewers, he spreads the glee. He goes live on Twitch with his camels in the mix. Giving away prizes like it's some kind of tricks. Oh, this is glorious. I love this thumbnail right here. 
Is this thumbnail not just amazing too? Oh my gosh, the album cover? All right, let's see what the other one is. Let's see what the other one is. You can do this for free yourself, by the way. Yo, check it. Listen up, I got a story to tell about a guy named Mike who's quite peculiar as well. He's smooth like butter, got a hump on his back. A camel named Mike, he's the king of the track. Now Mike loves waffles. He's got a crazy obsession. Stack them up high with syrup as a confession. He puts them in the air like a chef from East. Mike Scott, the waffles, he's an absolute beast. So let me tell you more about Mike's giving spree. When he hits a hundred viewers, he spreads the glee. He goes live on Twitter's camels in the mix. Giving away prizes like it's some kind of trick. But let me tell you more about Mike's giving spree. Oh my spree. God. When he hits a hundred viewers, oh my God. Glee. He goes Get it on your waffle, on everybody. With his camels in the mix, giving away prize like it's some kind of trick. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop, but that was pretty damn good. I got I gotta admit that was pretty good. We're gonna have to do more of that chat. We're gonna have to do more. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Sorry for just taking that just random break right there. <laughs> Mike's giving it away. <laughs> no, that's some good stuff. I think it's really cool. I think if I spent a little bit of time and, you know, did like a couple of those, I think I'd find some real winners in there. I've already found a couple that I thought are pretty funny. And I think it's really neat when you put like certain things in there, like 100 viewers or waffles and giveaways. It just, it works so well. Moo Moo, back to you. Oh, where were we? Where were we? Okay, so a couple trouble areas. Uh, that I want to make sure we got a little bit of like, I guess you would just say a little bit of protection there. Well, here, I'll bring this in so you guys Mike, can Mike, see Mike, it. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? I'm not going to be able to show you and do it at the same time unless I do this. And that way you guys can see, see, see. Moo, 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 moo. Glad to have you, buddy. Oh, and moo back to you, by the way. Okay, so I think that's going to be good. We have a little bit of concerns if it leaks from here from the rad, but I think most of that should be good. Of course, our biggest concern is going to be our two fittings that's right over our memory because... We have our RAM right there on that backside. And then of course with the graphics card, since it is vertical in a way, you know, it's not mounted directly into the motherboard. I mean, for the most part, this is, you know, gonna only be a mess. It's not necessarily gonna be a problem, but one thing you might wanna do, kind of throw a couple towels down here on the bottom, just in case. Again, this, hopefully we don't have any problems, chat. That's the plan. But this is to make sure if something did go wrong, it's not going to go as wrong. Now let's just let's just play it safe here, right? Yes. And then a lot of that is just for like if there's anything wrong with the block, maybe you know, like if an O-ring or something was off, we didn't even know. Versus like it's a fitting or something like that, we'll be able to take a look. I'll kind of fold this over like that so I can still see these and make sure I can look at like the bridge and everything in case there's any concerns with any of that. And then of course we have our other fittings down here on the bottom and of course our stuff over here going into our distro, but there's really not many components on this side to worry about as far as if we did have a leak. Now, with all of this said, we are going to run our pump uh, on speed one, the lowest setting, because ideally you want to not have this burst through your system. You want a nice, slow and steady fill with it. You know, take your time. Don't put a lot of pressure into the system all at once. Just trying to get the best case scenario with the best practices, right? Let's see. What else do we got to do? Spend an extra 10, 20 seconds 
looking at stuff, double checking your fittings. Especially when you got a lot of them. Make sure like these other, like the, I got a stop plug here. I got a stop plug here. These are my inlets. So the coolant's gonna go out through this tube first. So we're gonna come out here. We're gonna hit the CPU block. Then we're gonna go from the CPU back up into the rad, go through this 360 rad. Then it's gonna come down here throughout the block from this side over up into this side. Then it's gonna come over hit the bottom rad and then it's going to turn around here and it's going to up and in and that's going to complete our loop and i'm super excited to see what that looks like when we get it filled so let's go ahead and start getting our uh twitch purple poured in here and uh let's start getting this bad boy set up And if we have no leaks, we can do the waffle, okay? No leaks, though. No leak waffle. That's the goal today, chat. The no leak waffle. Oh, I'm nervous. Do I have all the cables plugged in? Is everything? I think I'm good. Riser, good. Because you have to understand, once this is filled and all these tubes are set and you have the coolant flowing through here, if you need to get access behind the graphics card or something with the motherboard or something, always pre-test all this stuff pre-test it outside the case before you even put it in you know make sure it works make sure it posts and you just get a nice basic you know that it works it's not just doa and a lot of that would be even preparation before you would water block your card just as much as water blocking the cpu i mean you could turn it on and get an idea to see if you know everything would light up and work and of course with uh the swap fans because we had the swap fans with the magnetic connection Remember, we went back and uh, made sure all of those magnet connections were solid, and we tested it separately with our extra power supply. So that was like a little thing to just make sure that connection was going to be good because it's in the back corner here on this side, and we'd be very difficult to access after the coolant is filled in the system where our fans would then be off and not lighting up. Now, of course, with this too, we are not putting power to anything in the system except for the pump, our D5 pump that's on the distro. So I'm gonna be using my backup power supply that I got mounted under my desk. I got a nice little convenient Molex connection right here. And basically I just have just a small little SFX power supply. I got the 24 pin plugged in, I have it jumpered, and then I just got a Molex right here and I just flip the switch and it's gonna apply power to the pump. So that way only the pump's gonna have the power. And this is basically like a two power supply method versus doing it with um, you know, the power supply in the system, like I was saying before, and you just disconnect a 24 pin and jumper it. But in a case like this, with the graphics card in this position, something like that is very difficult because that 24 pin is right behind the graphics card. So almost impossible to do with a single power supply in this orientation with the way the tubes are set up. So that's why a second power supply option might be something to consider if you ever kind of get run into this, or maybe it was something you just didn't like fully think about um and uh, you know i've done methods both ways depending on what's going on with it but if it helps you out hopefully it does so there's my little uh, word of advice on that fun stuff is there a way to test the loop without using liquid um you can so there's a couple of ways that you can do it without using liquid. They do make pressure testers that you can uh, secure into like a Gina quarter port, and then apply pump you can pump pressure. A couple of companies we make one as well as a couple. I'm trying to think if I had one laying around. I I don't really use it a lot with distros, but like other stuff I would like probably 
in a prepare in a prep situation if i was doing a loop like this and i had a, a pressure tester you know that's gonna you're gonna seal all the ports and you're gonna pressure test it to make sure that there's no leaks like on blocks and stuff instead of doing the entire loop after it's fully built i would do each of the blocks first so like if you have a block that you bought before you even put it on the card block off three of the ports put a pressure tester on there apply a very light amount of psi a very small amount and just see if the block itself can can continue you know hold some pressure to it just giving you some little idea you start hearing hissing and the pressure's dropping right away it might be something you might want to consider before even spending all the time changing it out and putting it on the graphics card let alone building and doing all the tube work and being here at this moment so a lot of important things to think about with that you're going to take it your way and it's going to be your mod so uh just some things to think about i mean you could pressure test the cpu block before you even put it on the distro you can do but again like i said really light psi because like distros other stuff even like third party or like you know people that make distro, I, i've seen it where you can't apply too much pressure it'll be watertight it's just not going to be airtight so don't freak out if it's not airtight and then wonder why it's watertight i guess because it does take a little bit more there if you can understand i don't know i don't know it's just experience just my personal opinion you know what i mean we're going to be filling the system first we'll get that distro filled up uh, a good little bit you guys can see the coolant uh going through the back stop hold yourself you got a drain valve that you have mounted like i do right there is it closed double check that first and or if you're even more paranoid put a little uh uh g and a quarter stop plug there just to be safe but I am going to make sure that I do have it closed so when we don't do our first fill, it doesn't just start dribbling out the front there and all of chat just starts laughing at me. <laughs> And I do like to open it and close it just so that way I know I can see through. Everything looks good, and I know now that it's secure. So, hey, if it helps, that's what I'm here for. Always have a, you know, you want to have a good mod and a good fill. Okay, so I guess before I plug the pump in, because we don't necessarily need to do that right now, let's, let's get some coolant in the distro. Let's see how everything kind of sits. Let's see if we get any instant leaks already. And you guys can watch that purple go into the system for the first time. Ooh, it's purpley. It looks even better in the distro. I'm so excited. Look at that. Wow. Okay, pause and check. Now you'll see as I come over to this side, because the distro is filled up a little bit, we've already, you know, cause it, can you remember, gravity, everybody kind of understand the science behind this. So once it hit that, came into the pipe and you can see how it's going up and you notice how the water level is equal to the water level in the distro. Hmm. I love science. I love gravity. Mike, pick any flavor. Cherry. No, grape. We're going grape. Go grape. Grape. How does uh, gravity? Whoa, how's it? Whoa. Let's put a little more in there. You know, just give a good little look. Hey, is the distro leaking? Is there anything weird? I haven't even turned the pump on yet. You feel me? You got that first initial little bit of coolant. You can see that it's glowing all the way through the CPU block. Granted, the pump's not on, so pressure isn't applied. But hey, if you're already getting a leak or seeing something, you can stop immediately. So just taking a little extra time trying to help you guys out. You know what I mean? Give a little observation as much as you can. So that way you're just going to you're gonna get this done and you're gonna move forward, get Windows installed, and you're gonna get into those sweet, sweet games even sooner, and you're gonna feel good about it because you know you did, you know, you took the time, right? Oh. 
Oh, that purple's looking good in there, though. I got to say, the purple's looking really good in there. All right, let's top it off. The Grimace shakes. <laughs> yeah, I can feel, I, I feel that. I feel that. I could have wrote an AI song about filling the E600 MX with purple coolant. And I, you know, you could just, it's so crazy that AI stuff. I could have wrote like a heavy metal song about the E600 MX <laughs> coolant filling. It looks delicious. Can I have a sip? Come on over, baby. Right here. Right here. We got a nice cold glass written for you. Hopefully we'll have enough coolant. I mean, I got a lot still, but I think we'll have enough. And if we don't, we can always just add a little bit. It's not that big a deal. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Remember, like I said, no leaks equals waffle. Leaks equals leaks equals cancel stream. So you can just all blame me for it and everything. What do you want? Like like this? A little view like that so you guys can see see that coil return? Is that what we want? Can you use car coolant? Absolutely. We did that last year on stream. We used water wetter. We've tried antifreeze. I mean in a way, antifreeze has the same kind of potential, but I'd always recommend using a proper coolant for PC. I mean, to be fair, you know what I'm saying? But we've done coolant experiments in the past, a couple of different variety of things, minus syrup and stuff, and Guinness, you know, because every now, you know, even a PC needs a cold beer every now and then. Beer is the best coolant. There you go, Tom knows, he remembers. <laughs> oh man, that's fun, I can't wait to do the next one. I can't wait to do the next one. But yeah, antifreeze with a black light, man. I mean, it's the same thing as that UV green coolant. You know, anything green like that's going to give you that nice little UV effect. Now, remember, the system's going to be off. The only thing that's going to be on is the pump. So there's going to be no lights, no fans spinning. So no worries about like the towels getting caught and stuff. And you know what I mean? All that stuff. The suspense is killing you. Good. <laughs> Oh. PB. Cheers. Somebody get him some water, please. <laughs> yeah, it looks like my new co-anchor may need a glass of water. <laughs> oh. Mike's is so cool. He is the best coolant. That's cool, man. That's cool. I appreciate that. Sixty percent of the time, it works. Every time. I was waiting for that. Thank you, Kenneth. I was waiting for that. So I think what I'm going to do is, since I can, I'm going to flip the switch, I'm going to come around to the PC on the other side, so I'm not going to be able to be in front of the microphone, so you guys can get a nice view as I fill it all the way up, okay? But first, but first, but first, It's that time. Is it in the morning? I'm making waffles. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike?
Here we go. Gotta use Intel. Let's go! Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness! Wow. Let's see, what's the next song, Danger Zone? Your mod, your way. Oh, that looks so good. A little, a little frothy there on the top, huh? A little frothy up there, huh? The Pepto Bismo build. It's got a nice little ring to it. Now let's get the rest of this in here. I gotta save the secret sauce for later. Now to see if it posts. This is going to be our new stream system, everybody. I'm excited. A little bit more. Ooh. Almost. What's for the prize today, Paul? Well, guess what, Paul? We got the prizes coming up here in just a little bit. So if you haven't exclamation marked waffle, you got less than five minutes to get in on our weekly giveaways. Look at, look at, we got a little, we got a little foam there in the top, boys. You got to pour slow. Got to pour slow. <laughs> Ooh man, that purple's popping. All right, now we're going to see if it's going to boot. This beer is all foam. All right. Is it going to post chat? Is it going to post? There we go. Hold on. 60% of the time, it works every time. It does. We'll put that right there. That's going to be our post screen, baby. Is it going to work? Is it going to work?
Man, that purple came out so sweet. Kick the power on. We gonna get a post screen chat? Think it's gonna work? Let's find out. Come on, baby. Give me that post screen. Give me that sweet, sweet post screen. In the morning. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Give me that post. Give me that post. Where's that sweet? Oh! Oh! Yes! We're there, baby! We're in! We're in! Oh, man! We're in! 28C, baby! Let's go! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No leaks, right? No leaks, right? Oh man, we can finally start doing our builds. Yes. Oh, I'm so stoked, chat. I'm so stoked, chat. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh man, look at that purple. Oh, I can't wait to get the RGB set up get this in we got a post baby let's go oh man i'm stoked i'm so stoked let's go love the colors and the accents thank you so much yeah Woo! our new pc baby oh i'm so stoked i'm so stoked oh this is gonna be so cool I'm gonna, we're gonna have to put it back there we got a lot to do Oh man, this is gonna be a fun build. Let me, uh, we gotta finish it though. We gotta finish it. I disconnected the HDMI, chill. Ooh, that sounds so good. Don't touch the glass. You peel the plastic, don't touch the glass. Hey, hold on, next song. I need something a little bit. Go ahead, listen to that. You guys like my fish tank? What do you guys think of my fish inside? Oh! Wow. It's done, baby. Oh my goodness. This is my new stream PC. I can't tell you how excited I am that this is my new stream PC. Wow, so attractive. What a looker. Oh yeah, the PC is nice too. Smiley face. Thank you, bang. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got it set up. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for this chat. I am so excited for this. This is going to produce 
so many waffles for you guys. I can't wait. I can't wait for all the fun. Our next level of Thermal Take Live right here. Our 25th anniversary case of all cases. And we throw a little Twitch flavor in there for the streams, man. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. But you know, you know what time it is, right? Do you know what? Is it, is it time yet? Is it time? Is it time yet? It couldn't be. Is it time? No. Oh, wait. It is. We got our system filled up. We got our PC ready to go. And now it's time for some waffles, baby. Who wants a giveaway? Mm. Somebody give him some water, please. Yeah, it looks like my new co anchor may need a glass All right. of water. <laughs> Everybody get in. Then, cheers, baby. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh, ads. All right, I'll wait. We can wait. Waffles, tasty waffles with lots of syrup. <sighs> lots of syrup. I tried it. I tried it. It didn't taste good. I tried it. It didn't taste good. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me try it. Let me try it again. Oh, oh, it's good. It's it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, oh, okay, that's water. <laughs> Ad's almost done, baby. Ad's almost done. Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> All right. The ads are finished. Let's go, baby. Everybody back? Everybody can see? Everybody back? In the morning, I'm making waffles. All right. We got two waffle winners coming up today. We do this every week, you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. Much love to all of our followers, as well as our subscribers here. Get in their waffle on both, either on Twitch or on YouTube. Much love from your boy, Thermal Mike. Thank you guys so much for being here, as always. And of course, we got some wheel spinners coming up here. Let's see who's going to spin the wheel. Our first winner is going to be... 2-2-D, 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 congratulations, 2-2-D on winning the waffle, let's go, and now Tom, it was on, <laughs> congratulations, 2-2-D, are you there, over on Twitch, on Twitch, congrats, 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 let me try, I'm looking for you, I'm looking for you. Man, I wish this thing would have fixed. It's not fixing. 2-2-D, just want to make sure you're there. You have won our waffle. Thank you. Throwing an ad at him. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 2-2-D, washing the car? Could be. Walking the dog? You never know. You never know. He could be in the washroom. You never know. Maybe he's doing cartwheel celebrating, and you just need to give the poor person a minute. We've actually had people say that they were just walking their dog. Come on, 2-2-D. Washing their GBU? Could be. Reroll. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll give him till the end of the song. We'll give him till the end of the song. Maybe he's too, too busy. Maybe he can hear me saying his name. 2-2-D. I'll take it, Mike. See, Blue knows what's up. Blue, you already won. You already won, Blue. Sit down. <laughs> Come on! He's sleeping! 
How could he be sleeping at a time like this? He's too late. Too late. Come on. Please. You got till the end of the song. Till the end of the song. 2 2 d are you there? You can't sign up and leave. Moo, 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 moo. You can't sign up and leave. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 2 2 d are you not there? I'm giving you another refresh. Last one, 2 2 d 60% of the time. It oh works no! Every time. F in the chat for 2-2-D! He was asleep at the wheel, unfortunately. Oh no! I'm like stalling just to give him an extra chance. I'm just stalling to give him an extra chance. One more refresh, last refresh. Last refresh, last refresh. All right. Oh no, all right. It's done. Sorry. Sorry, you gotta be present in order to win. You gotta be present in order to win. All right, so uh, let's just start this all over again. Hey! Everybody get ready, it's waffle time. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another weekly waffle with your man, Thermal Mike. Much love. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's unfortunate that as much happened, but you know, those are the rules. And that's just the way it goes. Who's going to be our real, real, real first winner? The Green Garage again. Oh my God. The Green Garage. He's so lucky. Ah! Dun, 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 dun. Dude, I know Green Garage is watching. I know. Are you in the garage? Maybe he's in the garage. Where is he? Dude, what a lucky winner. Me? Let's go. Oh, congrats. Rigged. <laughs> Woo! Green Garage. Hey, man, you can't win if you don't play, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Congrats on winning the, the Wobble Green Garage. Um, you say spin it, and you're gonna win it, my friend. Good luck, good luck, finger on the trigger. Let's see what you're gonna come up with next. Spin it, spin it, spin it! <laughs> come on, baby, come on. Nice, score a keyboard, let's go, dude. Hey, much love, congrats on winning a Thermaltake keyboard. It's your prize, your way. Visit ThermaltakeUSA.com and check out one of our keyboards that we have in stock, and it is yours. DM me on Discord, you know the drill. You're a previous winner. Much love to you, Green Garage. Thanks for all the support. Who's going to join him? Who's going to join him? Yeah, I'm using S-Labs. I'm using S-Labs. Been using S-Labs the whole time. Trying to keep it consistent. Who's gonna join the green garage? It's gonna be Cat's uh, catastrophic, catastrophic. Congratulations, catastrophic on winning our weekly waffle. Catastrophic. Congratulations from uh, from YouTube, from YouTube. Let's go YouTube. See, I told you it works. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Are you there? I'm looking for you. I'm looking for a hey yo, let's go! Catastrophic is there. Congrats, man. Congrats. Congrats on winning our weekly waffle over on YouTube. Much love, man. Thank you so much. All right, just like before, you say spin it and you're gonna win it, my friend. Good luck, good luck. Let's get a big one here. Come on. Let's get a big one. Let's go. Let's go. You say spin it. You're going to win it. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. Scoring and do so many AIOs, man. Congrats. Hey, man. Congrats on winning one of our Thermal Take AIOs off of ThermaltakeUSA.com. It's your prize, your way around here at Thermal Take Live. Visit our website. If there's an AIO, you want the 420, you want the 240, the 360, or whatever in between, it's your prize, your way. Pick one that's in stock and it's yours. Don't forget to DM me to verify that you are a human.
human popsicle first. Join our Discord. If you're not in our Discord, exclamation mark Discord for all the fun stuff there. But wait, but wait, don't leave. But wait, we got something else. We got something else. Oh, he's green. He's green. This isn't going to work. Here, we have, a, we have a special guest. We have a special guest right here. Hey, everybody. Who wants to win me next? Okay. Here we go. Who did pick? Wait, I didn't pick anybody. Fourth wall. Fourth wall. Fourth wall breaker. Congratulations on winning a Twitchy. Part of our Intel things. Congratulations. Fourth wall over on YouTube. We got a nice little split here. Half Twitch, half YouTube for our winners. Again, of course, you guys can watch on either stream. As long as you exclamation mark waffle, you can get up to two chances for free. And of course, fourth wall breaker coming in, winning the chippy. You gotta message me if you want it. If not, I'm keeping him. He's mine if you don't say anything. But hey, make sure you guys send me a message on Discord. Verify yourself for the chippies and or for the waffle wins. Much love and congratulations to you guys again. We got weekly giveaways every week here on Thermal Take Live. And of course, we'll have more next week. You just got to be a follower and be located within the U.S. or Canada in order to qualify. Nobody tell YouTube chat, but I think they're good people. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have said that out loud. My bad. <laughs> what the heck does that even mean? <laughs> Woo! Oh, dude, I'm so stoked. So stoked. The PC came out so good. So good. Nope. Oh, my. Mm. I'm probably gonna have to update the BIOS, huh? Did anybody see what the BIOS version was? It's probably not the latest BIOS because I got 14th gen in here and I know I'm gonna need the newer BIOS for that, but it worked. It posted, so that's good. Because to be fair, when I posted it, I didn't have the 14th gen CPU. I had, I think like a 12th or 13th I put in there just to, you know, make sure it works, you know what I mean? Nice. Well. We'll see how it goes come next week. I got a lot of work to do until then, getting this thing set up to swap out for our stream PC. And hey, if everything works out good, we'll be streaming on this next week. And we'll get everything all set up and everything. We'll go, go I'll guide you guys through a couple of things too, because I think it'd be kind of fun to show you guys a little bit of like what I do with, uh, you know, OBS and, you know, how I use like stream elements and stuff like that to do the giveaways and everything that you guys uh, have a lot of fun each and every week. And I got to tell you, I have a lot of fun each and every week as well uh, getting to do these giveaways with you guys. So thank you guys so much. What a fantastic stream. Hashtag no leaks. Let's go. We got our new dream stream PC finally finished. And I'm excited. I'm so excited. The music's drowning me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, because I was in waffle mode. I was in waffle mode. Thank you, pig. I get a little excited, man. I get a, I just, I guess I just get a little too excited. When we got so many good things going on. But much love, you guys. We're going to end a little early. I got a lot to do. So I hope you guys don't mind. We got to check out and see what's going on with all that. You know, I'm going to keep monitoring it. Pay attention to the temperatures, you know? Take a look at what you got going on. Monitor your CPU and GPU temperatures, guys. I mean, do this daily. Give your system a good couple weeks to monitor and manage that stuff. Make sure everything's good. Get some software, HW Info. 
MSI Afterburner. There's a ton of stuff out there. Don't just run to Cinebench and see what Cinebench does to try to break your stuff. You know what I mean? Run some other things. And of course, get in on some games, man. The best thing about building a new PC is going to be that first game on a new build. So you guys have a good time. We're going to dip out a little early today. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of uh, waffle love here. Uh, celebrating what we got going wow. on. Let me get the right screen. I got to figure out how to get all these things properly downloaded here. But uh, yeah, we got it going on. In the sun, you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you so phone. much. Happy hump day from Thermal Mike. We'll see you next time.